name is Nette Megens. I'm the head of the European Ceramics Department at Bonhams. We have an amazing array of Sèvres porcelain, which is 18th century French porcelain, made really for the royal court of Louis XV. And it's quite rare to find a group quite as large of this extraordinary factory. One of the interesting parts about ceramics is that you want to understand more about the collectors in the past as well. And with Sèvres porcelain often you can, because the factory has an unbroken record since the 18th century of everything they produced. Because of that 18th century archive, the joy of collecting these objects is often that you can immediately bring a painter together with the objects. All the objects are marked on the base, and when you turn them over you can see the interlaced double L's in the 18th century, and the date letter is in the middle, and often underneath there's a letter for the painter or the gilder. And that is what entices especially 20th century collectors because you can tell that story. And so looking at these objects, the challenge is always to knit back together that history. With the pieces that you see behind me, well, actually these go back into an English collection in the 19th century. And two of these vases have counterparts in the royal collection. So we know the group that they were a part of, which is already the first excitement. This little beautifully decorated pot à pommade is really exemplary in what makes Sèvres so wonderful because it's a very intimate object. It was made to be used at the toilette. You could be invited to attend the toilette of a royal if you were very close to the court and you would have seen these objects standing on the dressing table and perhaps even being used. We also have an amazing group of 19th century Napoleonic ceramics in our sale. Perhaps the most significant group is a group of plates from a service called the Marly Rouge, which simply means the red border. And they all have little butterflies in the center. And they were delivered to one of Napoleon's royal palaces in 1809. These objects are taken into the private chambers and into the private rooms of royals. And that is really what makes them so fascinating. It's a direct line to history. We're really excited to bring this group of Sèvres porcelain to auction and it really exemplifies everything that's beautiful about Sèvres porcelain from the beginning right to the 19th century. Mm -hmm.